Folks, it is lovely to virtually meet you. And, you know, I was only thinking there the other day, I can't believe we're already on season three of The Witcher. It seems like only yesterday that season one landed. And while all of your characters have gone through many changes over the last three seasons, I think Freya, Siri has probably gone through the biggest uh, evolution overall. Um, how was it playing kind of like less, shall we say, damsel and more kind of badass this season? Yeah, I mean, it was... Um... Sorry, my stomach's wrong. Mm. Um, it was um, it was really exciting. I was I'm I'm really thankful that I've I've got to uh, really you know evolve with this character and take her from from um, such a different place than she was at, in season one and um, and yeah, I'm getting to do all the the stunt elements is always exciting for me. I, I love those that the challenge of that and. But also, I feel like this season really is um, a, um, a confronting of her past. And um, there are some things she goes through that are really going to change her and um, allow us to see a side of her that hasn't been seen. Uh, and I'm really excited to ex explore that, that part of her. Yeah, and actually, Anya, you get to explore Yennefer's more maternal side this season. And while she's always quested to be a mother, you know, she kind of skipped the baby part and kind of has a stroppy teenager instead. So how was it um, developing that side of the character? Yeah, it was... Um, I had so much fun doing it because there are so many... It's not all she thought it would be, motherhood. Um, and to be honest, I feel like she went through a stroppy teenager phase whilst trying to be a mother. So, um, yeah, a lot of figuring out what that means to her and what that means in their dynamic. I mean, I don't feel like Siri's going to accept her as a mother quite easily. And so, you know, we had to figure out how we'd create that bond. Um, and I think a lot of it is that they're, they're quite similar, honestly. And um, Yennefer's got a lot to give to Siri and, and vice versa. For sure. And Joey for Yastir, you know, he's living his hot boy summer life. He is loving things and he's always been a lover of all things beauty. And that's going back to the books as well. So was it great for you to finally be able to explore, without spoiling too much, I presume, um, you know, that side of his character this season? Uh, yeah, yeah, he has always been a bit of a, an Epicurean and um, and it was lovely to be able to see some of the stuff that we've kind of alluded to throughout the seasons. Um, you know, we, we hear uh, chatter about the Countess de Stael or, you know, little flirtatious winks here and there. And then this season we actually get to see him make some deep emotional connections um, outside of his found family. And that for me was one of the most joyous aspects of filming season three. And you also got to work quite a bit with Hugh Skinner as well, who, you know, also has quite, a, quite the voice, um, we know, from Mamma Mia as well. So were you making um, more than just, you know, what we saw on the screen, sweet music-wise? Uh, <laughs> I don't think I... I think I would be too um, nervous to sing anywhere near Hugh. And uh, I think his talent would outshine mine. And poor Yaskia would... Poor Yaskia's ego would be burnt, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, if I even tried to do that. <laughs> One thing that I actually loved was when all of you took the stage at Tadom recently and, you know, you got to pay tribute to Henry, who, of course, is departing at the end of the season. For all of you, like, how weird is it to think of going back to set and him not being there? It hasn't really hit in yet. I think mm. that will be that will be further down the line when we all turn up and go, where's Henry? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, any, any tips or tricks for Liam before he, you know, gets into the armour? Oh, we're just gonna get stuck in. Yeah, I'd say. like he's. I'm so excited. Doing, yeah. For, yeah, which he's doing. Um, Our job is just to welcome him. Mm. As yeah, we always do, as really. supportive as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, but well, look, I'm really looking forward to seeing part two. As I've only been able to see part one so far, but all the best with uh, with the rest of the season. Thank, Thank you so you much. So much.